The United States is waiving sanctions on the company that is behind Russia's Nord Stream 2 pipeline and its chief executive. The decision comes as the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov held a high-level face-to-face meeting and agreed to work on differences between the two countries. The U.S. had imposed sanctions on some ships and entities involved in the construction of the $11 billion pipeline. The project aims to take Russian gas from the Arctic to Germany. The U.S. had earlier opposed the deal, but as of now, the Biden administration has decided to waive sanctions. President Biden has been very clear for a long time in his view that uh, Nord Stream 2 is, um, is a bad idea. And I reiterated that view uh, directly to, uh, to Foreign Minister Maas. Um, and I also made clear that firms engaged in pipeline construction risk uh, U.S. sanctions. Uh, the pipeline divides Europe. Uh, it exposes Ukraine uh, and Central Europe to Russian manipulation and coercion. Uh, it goes against Europe's own stated energy uh, security goals. The decision to waive sanctions has given Berlin and Washington three more months to resolve a long-standing row. The $11 billion venture had strained ties at a time when Berlin and Washington were eager to build relations, which were severely disturbed during Trump's presidency. Germany and other European countries see the Nord Stream 2 as a crucial project to secure long-term energy supplies in the region. Germany had rejected the looming imposition of sanctions as interference in domestic affairs. German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas has welcomed the move as a conciliatory step. This is a sanction beschlossen worden auch gegen die Nord Stream 2 AG und die CEO. Nur für die ist dann auch gleichzeitig wieder ein Presidential Waiver in Kraft gesetzt worden. Das heißt, dass sie wieder ausgenommen worden sind. Und das empfinden wir als einen konstruktiven Schritt, den wir gerne mit unseren Partnern in Washington weiter besprechen. The 745 mile pipeline, which is more than 95% complete, will run beneath the Baltic Sea. It will double Russian natural gas shipments to Germany. The project has long been in the crosshairs of the United States, particularly by the administration of former President Donald Trump, which promoted U.S. gas and openly criticized European countries for buying energy from Russia. Russian neighbors Poland, Ukraine and the Baltic states also fiercely opposed the pipeline, fearing that it would increase Moscow's political leverage in regional politics. Earlier today, we spoke to Trent Murray, a correspondent from Berlin, listening to his inputs on the story. Yeah, well, I think there is relief in Berlin this morning that this decision has been made. Relief in Moscow as well, of course, given that it is Gazprom, the state-backed Russian uh, gas company, heavily behind this project. Uh, but some concern in Washington, as you mentioned. Germany has long maintained that this pipeline is an essential piece of infrastructure needed for its energy security. Uh, it comes as Germany uh, is having some quite difficult conversations in recent years about the future of its energy mix. It's recently begun shutting down its nuclear reactors uh, in the wake of the Fukushima nuclear disaster, as well as moving away from coal. And so uh, experts here say that that pipeline is needed to help keep the lights on in Europe, um, to help keep Germany uh, as Europe's biggest economy with energy security. But it is an incredibly divisive project because, as you say, it will um, allow Russia to almost double the amount of gas coming directly into Germany uh, and in doing so circumventing countries like Ukraine where the gas has to currently transit through. Uh, so this pipeline has long been the thorn in the side um, for both German politicians trying to explain it internationally uh, as well as countries like the United States who have struggle to grapple with the idea that there is Russian aggression in parts of Eastern Europe, while at the same time countries in Western Europe, like Germany, uh, continue to do business and do business in the billions and billions of dollars uh, in gas projects like this one. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.